into my uh, Maxon Cinema 4D R15 Special. Uh, the next feature I'd like to show you is uh, the new kerning. Um, the new kerning is, is uh, especially interesting for uh, motion designers and something, um, and let you uh, define the text size spacing per letter. Yeah, um, that means uh, you. Uh, in the past, it was a bit uh, more hassle to to do something with letters, but but now it's new and. Great. Okay, and it works for uh, for the traditional uh, text spline, you know, this one. But I like to show you the the new function on MoText. Yeah, it's uh, MoText is, is just a uh, uh, expansion of the text spline. So uh, you will maybe notice it when you uh, magical like this. It's just extra nerves included. Plant. So, <laughs> but okay. Uh, more text. I like to make a wonderful new logo with. Moment. Uh, some funnel like uh, Helvetica. Yeah, that's always good. Okay, so. That is what we have, uh, yeah, in Nord Cinema 2. And uh, when you uh, try to to play something with, with the positions, and in the past you have to uh, do things like this, uh, Mo and separate style, so, and oops, it's this. <laughs> and now you can make your own crazy logo, you know? Okay, but now. It's very cool, it's very handy. You just have this logo. And uh, there are two possibilities. So, at first you have to, to notice this little thing, kerning. So, I switch it on. And now, I have the possibility to choose, uh, in this uh, special uh, letter, and um, scale them, Oof. this are all, <laughs> so, and scale them, or uh, tracking them, and uh, I can do a baseline shift, yeah, that's kerning, <laughs> so, but uh, the much uh, more intuitive way is to checking this 3D uh, GUI on, and now, you can directly in your 3D viewport choose the letter and same again. Uh, I shift the baseline, uh, I change the scaling, and okay, for the moment I try to uh, scale, make our own cool Mostar TV logo. So you can uh, shift this in this direction and the baseline, like I said. So, this M, maybe, oh, uh, with shift, you can sh uh, select more letters at arms, so, <laughs> you see, it's, it's very fun, um, okay, and, This should be. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, maybe this. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but 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 you, you get the idea. Uh, now you can move and, and scale and um, baseline shift this freely, and it's very great to uh, fast handle. Type of things, yeah. So no, it's not so great. <laughs> so yeah, oh god, no, it's horrible. Anyway, so uh, and and this is a new kerning thing with uh, direct uh, viewport GUI, uh, gra graphical user interface. It's uh, short for 
GUI is short for this. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice, I think. Uh, you can do anything with this. <laughs> and it doesn't have to hassle with, with more different uh, cigarette objects and something. Yeah, and I think it's, it's a very good function. Uh, when you, uh, like me, no tights, oops, looks not so good. <laughs> can you switch reset all and uh, come back to your original thing. Yeah, that's carrying in, in um, Cinema 40. Like I said, it works the, the same with um, the spline. Okay, and, and that's great. The, the, the rest of the mode text function is, is like like before. Uh, you know that you can choose a different type of caps and uh, some steps here yeah, with, with round corners or special corners for physical sky. Zack! Ready 3D logo. <laughs> um, Oops, sorry. My, my vacuum uh, driver is, is not 100% uh, cool, I'm afraid. So, yeah, and, and it's all interactive, uh, still interactive, and uh, yeah, you can manipulate this thing, and it's a very easy and fast way to manipulate text, uh, 3D objects, and uh, a, a little nice new thing in, in Cinema is uh, before when you choose a deformer, you you know um, maybe this it just appears in the scene. So, and then you have to uh, fit it uh, to to your needs. Oops, <laughs> like this, yeah, Zack. But. And Cinema uh, 15, you can switch Shift, the object, and then a deformer. And like magic, uh, automatically, it automatically fits to your uh, object. Yeah, it works for, for any 3D object, not just for text. So, and it's a great little thing Maxon uh, did with this uh, deformer behavior. Okay, but that's all for now. It's kerning and this little uh, shift deformer hint. Uh, thank you for watching and hope I see you uh, on the video for the next Big R15 feature. And don't be shy to ask uh, questions uh, about this. I'm happy to answer anything. This was more tense and for most TV. See you.